tank game about to start and as for the gods we have Berserker as Loki again, they go Thor and Iron Maiden Thor as well, but against them we have Halsrevich as Oranos, Spoeft as Zeus, so definitely a change here and Killer Boy as Loki. So the Zeus is basically the only change here, the whole lineup. The first to have a look at right now is at the bottom again AOL, but this time Berserker, who sees the zebras at the bottom and goes for them without further arrow. And he seems to be having a pretty good, decent wood line, which is quite important on the oasis. And very nice berries at the same time. So how's it looking? And someone else's base. Iron Maiden already waiting <laughs> and researching hunting dogs. For the zebras on the left and otherwise he's scouting a bit interestingly around his base discovering just the lions but looking for some extra food and he finds just berries which is not what he was looking for but also a bit of a relic here that's archer ballista chair ballista pierce attack that's not bad at all and there are some dark blobs here and that's more berries here so not really any luck in finding some extra hunt so far for either of these players on the left though, between uh, Iron Maiden as a pocket for AOL and Recon, we have a bit of a giraffes. Yeah, there's at least some hunt in there. And wow, 40% villager hit points. Okay, that's going to make any raiding all that harder, but it would have been a whole lot better for Hellsler for Hell's Ravage, sorry, as an Atti, as his release would be <laughs> pretty hard to raid with that extra relic. Recon himself on the left side is right now being signaled by Killer Boy, but he has just discovered him, and yeah, that's pretty much the only player who is going for some aggressive scouting. Zebras here on the left, you see at the back, okay placement, one solitary zebra, that's not okay, but another patch of giraffes here, so that's one for Iron Maiden and one for Recon. So yeah, not, nothing really to complain about, and Spy has been placed by Killer Boy, or rather Berserker, who is playing the Loki. Oh yeah, that wouldn't really make all that much sense. <laughs> so yeah, it was Killer Boy who is also playing Loki. On to uh, AOL Recon's food release. The base of Killer Boy himself is standardishly placed. Some monkeys at the back, otherwise a bit of giraffes. So yeah, pretty good scouting by the goats. That's not bad at all and helps quite a lot get in the lay of the land. And in the forefront he sees some extras and berries gold near the TC, which should be reasonably defensible, he goes for it, and another relic, that's a trio of helpful monkeys, well, they could be helpful at the very beginning, but their usefulness is not going to be all that crucial for the whole game, Elsrevich as an Oranos is playing a pocket, which is kind of a shame, usually you want Oranos at some of the sides, and he went for some aggressive scouting with this oracles just a bit earlier, but not really all that much, and it seems like a double will be brewing on the left side on Recon, because his both oracles are here, and I'm kind of thinking that the third one won't be really far behind. Otherwise his base is okay, just the zebras in there, monkeys at the right, together with extra gold and giraffes as well, and another relic here, and that's a favorite trickle, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. And at the back, another giraffes here. So it seems like all the food sources have spawned at the back, not really anything at the forefront, which will result in some kind of even games, because nobody should be somehow disadvantaged. Spoeft is dropping already his temple, so he will be advancing at like 440, 5, some, 5 something. Food source at the forefront and another relic here, village kills animals in single shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to be useful here at all. Looking at the DCs, uh, thinking that the placements are kind of okay, not really any DC screw whatsoever for either of the teams. And the middle of the map, well, is going to be very important because it's very wide between those two oases. And so far, nobody is going actually to wall it up. That's slightly curious, and literally nobody is <laughs> walling anywhere, so this should be a pretty open game for quite a long time. Anyway, Recon is already 70% through Freya, how's it looking for Iron Maiden? 6% just now, clicking into Falsetti, which is kinda late, because that means he will be like 515, which is really unusually late, and under Falsetti, almost 50% for Berserker, and Spoeft. 50% into Hermes, so no Athena shenanigans, and we see that Halsarevich has just advanced 
and will be making his military buildings light in, right in his base. The last to have a look at concerning advances is Killer Boy. And yeah, Halsarevich was looking for some nice raiding, or rather raiding scouting with all three oracles around red. But this one is pretty much hidden here, as he probably encountered the Valkyrie or the TC, who knows. But Recon right now finishing up with this walls as is needed on this map. And he needs just a bit of here and he will be protected altogether in the middle. Yeah, Iron Maiden is going for a bit weird walls, <laughs> not really a long one. That might be because if he built just a long one, it would have been killed but that much easier. So he goes for a bit more creativity. And on the right side, well, Berserker is the only one who actually isn't going for anything so far. So he definitely thinks he can go for it by himself. He's moving in and he actually went for this relic, which was the villagers kill animals. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why he would be coming for that. Maybe for extra score, which just literally nothing. But Poeft actually stole it from him. Just like that. And well, will he be able to come back? No, he won't. <laughs> he just very nicely built the house here as a nice protective wall. Natural protective wall without actually having to build the walls. And this spy really, yeah, that's actually pretty important because right now Berserker sees quite nicely what is happening on Inspoeft's base with absolutely everything and he will know what kind of units will be cropping up for Spoeft. So that's going to be a bit of uh, centaurs from the temple. See two Willies praying there and well, will actually this stable produce at least one Hippicon? So far it doesn't seem so, but this really is trying to repair it. So maybe we will. And on the left we see the first Raiden from Killer Boy, who can go all the way. But he doesn't see it now, so he will probably go and try to destroy some of those walls. Uh, do we see some towers being researched? Not yet for Recon. But here we have a bit of a raid in here from Spoeft and the Centaurs. And well, that was a bit of an oracle here, but yeah, it's right now dead. And will some micro help Spoeft? I kind of think not, as he was caught at a pretty bad spot. And both Centaurs are right now at half health. Will Halsevich help with his army? Is it going to be enough? I'm kind of thinking not. That it shouldn't be enough to actually deal with this army, especially when we see that Recon has a bit of an extra raiding cavalry here, and that means that Spoiled has to retreat and wait for a bit better time. Berserker is finishing his walls right now and he's going for a bit more aggressive ones, actually walling Spoiled inside his base. And once he finishes this one as well, that's going to be okayish. And this wall, it might seem a bit weird to you, but that's basically a strategic position as he will be able to retreat with this army behind it and protect his army from the enemies. Right now it seems like Killer Boy is not interested in some full-on attack. He is just now scouting around the 30C of Recon. Maybe he will be trying to actually capture it. Although that might not be the case any longer. And well, Halsarevich is right now the only one who was trying to go for some raiding. But that's about to stop as he will be doubled by Berserker and Iron Maiden. Although Berserker is retreating right now, which is not good news for Iron Maiden, who will lose units and won't be able to finish the wall, which could prove important as Yellow Killer Boy is going just for that opening right into the middle of Aeolus bases. Yes, Perth is very nicely walled in, which resulted in Berserker trying to take the front TC. Still, Perth third. But will he be successful? So far he doesn't have enough army here. And with the army here behind the wall, that should be taking this wall down in any moment. I'm not thinking he will have enough here. Although centaurs are not really all that cool against Hercers, so he might be alright. Might be just alright. Halsarevich though has found a pretty good spot of Iron Maidens <laughs> in here. And this is going to cost a bit of billies if he's careful. Uh, but he will be caught by Recon here and from the left side Iron Maiden's army itself so this probably will result in just a few villies dead if any and in quite the opposite result than Halsarevich was hoping. Yeah, he's just losing a whole lot of army here taking a fight I think he should have been taken but it isn't going as fast or rather as bad as I was thinking it could. 
At the right side, Killer Boy has joined his armies together with Spoeft, who has destroyed the wall, and they prevented Berserker from taking the TC. Just as we expected, and this results also in some food willies getting killed because they were getting from the berries here, and Oxcart is already dead, and they will all be killed, especially when you have Troll here as a mythical spawn for Killer Boy. So that was serious underestimation on Berserker's side, who just couldn't capitalize on this situation, and yep last really is dead and that's serious downtime in food gathering for him. Hasrevich at the same time is going for second TC and same goes for Spoeft. But also for Recon on the left. So Berserker is right now in the middle of his own base with pretty fat goats. <laughs> but his forefront adventure didn't really pay off and he will lose all the resources from the TC because that's definitely not gonna be finished. And this is time for Spoeft to pay a visit to his opponent's base again. Iron Maiden has abandoned the attempts to actually finish the wall in the middle and has been trying to build a slightly closer one, but haven't been able to finish it either, which is pretty bad, as it still leaves the door wide open for everybody to go inside and oh, ho ho ho, Iron Maiden is going for this goal it seems, and will Killer Boy see it? Oh, he just missed it, but at the same time he's finding another Willies, as Iron Maiden kind of inexplicably has like all the Willies at one spot, which is pretty terrible. bad. And even though Berserker is not far behind, he is disrupting food gathering and already killing quite a lot of Willies here. But right now he needs to retreat, as yeah, the fight is not good anymore. Uh, Hasravich has been trying to raid a bit of a cold Willies of Aricon here, he just killed or rather lost some of the Turmas here. But yeah, that's not going to be enough as Recon and Iron Maiden are paying attention and having quite a lot of army. Well, it's not a whole lot, but it's quite enough against just a few Durmas and a more Milos. So at this point, uh, Spoeft is going for 30C, a house ravage having obviously a gathering point next to it. Well, is this army going to be enough for Spoeft and Killer Boy? And at the same time, Hasravich, so proper three versus possibly one to do something. Well, they are blocking the 30C for sure. And this is decent army of both Berserker and Iron Maiden trying to catch a bit of Hasravich's army. But that's pretty much all that is going on here. Recon is not really doing anything at this point. Berserker trying to outmaneuver Spoeft, which he just did, but unfortunately for him, Spoeft also researched medium hippicons, which is a huge turnout for him at this point, <laughs> because that's a pretty big difference in the quality of the units. Iron Maiden is trying to join, and we might see some funny uh, mythical spawns from Berserker if all goes well. Killer Boy advancing into Bragi, but he doesn't have the army here to hold them, but he does, because he recognizes that this fight could actually be pretty important and game breaking game breaking if it goes right so he <laughs> mentions the guess that it might be the correct play even with such low army well will it be the truth so far AOLs are awaiting the fight which is the correct choice and on the left Recon is trying to capture his front TC same goes for Killer Boy although he will be nastily surprised by a bit of a raiding cavalry who knows that the TC is being built and yes they need to retreat because against those piggies and the cavalry that's not gonna go all that well it seems like uh, Rangers or rather Hellstravage is having quite a decent army I think at this point he will be popped but it might be a slight problem because most of the armies are just Turmas and even though they are ranged units, it's not like they are somehow super strong and able to kill buildings or anything. But Swift is at 3 TCs. Uh, rangers trying to... Or other Rangers. <laughs> I'm just used to Rangers from the last game. Helsrevich is taking third as well. So it seems like our dots are booming quite well and a whole lot better than their opponents. Which could be the deciding factor in this game. Iron Maiden is still at just one DC. He is trying to capture the second, but well, yeah, Killer Boy just now saying prepare for Egg, as he will be advancing into Mythical. Seems sometime soon. Or is he just saying prepare for Egg from his opponents? Well, it might be the case as well, but Berserker is just going into Bragi, so he's not fast enough. But Spoeft will be advancing, I kinda think. 
two heroic somewhere, or at least should be, because he's at three TCs. I'm kind of thinking that he should be popped at this point, and he having a pretty decent upgrade, and he maybe doesn't even want to. He's just going for a fourth TC. While on the left, Killer Boy is trying to raid his opponent, Recon, and he was a bit successful. He at least killed the Oxcart. Wow, which delays. <laughs> Which delays the gold gathering quite a lot, but he wasn't able to kill any of the billies here, so yeah, that was that. In the middle, even though Iron Maiden is just up at two TCs and fighting against Hell Savage at, at three, he's kind of reasonably successful, but not all that much. But with Berserker joining the fight, he will be, and well, will this be the correct decision? Because on the right side, Spoiled is using this opportunity to actually go full line into attack and on the left killer boy is using the opportunity when kill when recon's army is in the middle to go for the attack here yeah wheelies are just going a bit south but this tc is not gonna stand for recon recon right now went through balder so he will be the one to go to ragnarok pretty soon not just yet but the tc is down and in the middle, Spoeft is having a pretty good army, and well, he's joined by Killer Boy, but at the same time, Killer Boy is not having enough. And if Berserker, together with his teammate Iron Maiden, can somehow close the enemies into some tight spot, some good flaming weapons might resolve the battle here. So, Iron Maiden trying to secure 30 C. Will he be successful? Uh, well, it all depends if Spoev will actually notice. So far it seems like he hasn't. And what's this? Oh, that's a birdie. Just trying to see what's happening somewhere. And that's thanks to this Vili that's still alive with the spy from the very beginning. And that's a pretty important spy because he just shows his ally, Killer Boy, what's going to happen there. So, Eol Berserker is going for Tyr and the Wolfies. And that's... Probably to actually prevent something like ceasefire or flaming weapons from his opponent. So let's see if his attempt at turning the game around right now will be successful. He has quite a decent army at the attack here. Does he have some upgrades? Baseline. So that's good. That will result in the TC being down for sure, I think. But at the same time, with the army from Spoiled being back in action next to the TC, it might be a time to run as well. So the TC has been freed. But has it bought Berserker really anything? I'm thinking not. Those Rangers, or uh, <laughs> God damn it, not Rangers. Els Ravage is joining the fight again. And right now Berserker is going to be doubled. And... Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. That was actually pretty neat. As I think this was actually staged by Berserker. Yeah, he went for the flaming weapons. And he actually counted with the possibility of the ceasefire. And already had one to actually start building so that he isn't surprised by the release. So pretty good job and he will be at 3 TCs at even grounds with his opponent. So pretty good job by Berserker outmaneuvering his opponents. At the same time on the left the <laughs> Ragnarok has been cast by Recon and he's having quite a lot of army in Killer Boy's base quite obviously who has already lost TC or rather hasn't built it yet. I need help. Yep, hasn't built it yet, and it seems like with all this army here from Red, uh, how is it about upgrades? Pretty decent one, not bad at all. He should I be able help. to kill this TC without any problems, and this one as well. Yep, just a few throwing at me here, that's not going to be enough. Uh, but with the Vortex from Halstravage, the situation may change quite just drastically. Even though it's just a Durmas, it could be enough. Because right now it will be basically like 2v2 with the Ragnarok. It's like if you had some extra player. And let's see if this will somehow pay off for Regon or if he will lose his Ragnarok altogether. All the extra tower fire is pretty bad for him. Because he's yeah, being wrecked and he didn't even take down this TC, which is surprising to me. And even though he killed all this army, and right now the TC. He might want to go back and kill him altogether. Yep, that's just a few moments from getting killed, and they actually force Underworld Passage from Spoev, so the situation is pretty critical, and Dots are on the verge of actually going out of this game. Not happy. So Killer Boy has lost DC, 
the middle there and well Halsarevich is actually pretty close to that as well and he's losing villagers here to some of those squads of the <laughs> heroes of Ragnarok but Rangers is not really playing badly or rather bad and he's defending without any problems and it seems like Rikon's Ragnarok is drawing to an end but it did its damage and if he is able to recuperate fast enough it might have been well worth it so this battle is kinda okay with Clairboy returning with some of his villies through the Underworld Passage. But at the same time, on the right, Halsarevich is moving in to protect his teammate Poet, who is having right now not much of an army against the onslaught of Berserker, who is using the opportunity that Poet has lost his army on the left. Right now, I would kinda expect, with all the barracks here being built and he passed from them, that Poet will be advancing into Mythic. Now, I don't really have the time to look at it. Just a moment, I will. Yeah, right now I can because Berserker is switching off. So, do we somewhere see the Hephaestos? Not yet, but I think he won't be really far off with all this preparation of these military buildings here. Because I think it's pretty much a given, and he's also going for some interesting building spam, which I think is pretty much the correct decision because they need to stabilize on the left somehow, and with Underworld Passage gone means that Spoeft might have to do something more permanent on the left. So this battle is kinda stalled and waiting for Spoeft to do something and Halsarevich is using his third and last vortex to switch into the left and defend his teammate Killer Boy, who is right now being protected in the middle, although he is gonna lose the last TC as well, because Iron Maiden has somehow made his way into the middle, I think through the middle <laughs> itself. And that means that Killer Boy is at zero TCs again, and he says that he has no willies. And looking at the minimap, it's actually pretty true. You don't really see all that many yellow blobs all along the map, so it seems like he's more or less out of the game. And if somehow dots can't protect the town centers there on the left, they will be free for the taking for both AOL Iron Maiden and his teammate Icon. And Iron Maiden is right now stealing the TC, if you have a quick look at the minimap. And on the right, Berserker is doing pretty well with his Palistase against the TC, trying to take it down and take the advantage of TCs on his side. Iron Maiden is <laughs> at the same time in the Valor, and since he is the pocket, I'm kind of thinking he will be nicely full popped with his wheelies. And once he casts Ragnarok, that's going to be a <laughs> pretty strong attack and a bit of a problem for the of death. So this is like a pretty strong push on the right side. I'm gonna check the TCs real quick. Is Poeft is advancing? Oh, and he even wasn't. And does recognize that the game has again trickled through their fingers and they have lost 2-0 to AOL. So pretty good job by Albis Onislobias, taking down the first in their division, Deities of Death, and advancing first themselves. A bit of an attempt here at Radium from Spoeft at the back, killing the trade route. Yes. But unfortunately for them, it was a bit late. So, good job. <laughs> yeah, Berserker right now saying <laughs> GG after KB killed his Huntress. That was at the beginning, where he lost yes. quite a lot of villies actually, and I was thinking it was looking very bad, but it didn't really matter all that much in the end. MVP for Berserker, definitely. Definitely agreed on this account. Well, otherwise it was kind of spread between the players here. Not really anybody in all that much better than their, his opponents or allies. Patrick on doing pretty well with units killed here and his military count. And even though Iron Maiden was the last to advance, it didn't really mean that he would lose the game for, the, for his team as the early aggression was well managed by AOLs. Yeah, there was the drop <laughs> on the food release here. That was from like 35 to like 28. So yeah, that was something like what he said, seven or nine really some such. Pretty important at this early stage of the game. And here, uh, Killer Boy, yeah, he just got killed after the Ragnarok and he lost a whole lot of PDs. Oh, 
Okay then, so that was the GG.